Hello. In this video I'm going to talk about the course requirements for Philosophy 101. All of this is also in the syllabus, but I thought it might be helpful to put it in a video. Okay, so in this course the grades involve five different parts. There's the weekly coursework, which is worth 30% of your grade, or 3% a week for 10 weeks. There's the first paper, which is between three to five pages, and that's for 15% of your grade. There's a midterm exam that's an hour long, and that's worth 15% of your grade. There's a final paper or a final project, something that I'm introducing this quarter, that's worth 20% of your grade. And then the final exam, which will be two hours long, is 20% of your grade. And then in addition, something else that I'm trying out this quarter is extra credit that can be worth up to 10% of your grade. So we'll see what each of these are as I go through the rest of this video. So to begin, uh, the weekly coursework. So the weekly coursework is really at the center of everything that happens in this course. So every week your weekly coursework will be generally the same. There's going to be two weekly assignments. There's going to be one weekly text discussion board post, uh, and I will expect two replies to your classmates' posts. And in addition, one uh, much shorter weekly video or audio discussion board post, and one re weekly reply. So I'll talk a little bit more about this when I get to the explanation here in a moment. Okay, two weekly assignments. So. Each weekly assignment involves probably what you expect. Uh, it'll involve a reading of some kind and watching some number of videos that I've put together to help try to explain and expand on the reading. And then this is going to be followed by a series of questions that invite you to work through various aspects of the arguments that we're looking at. Uh, these are worth 15 points each, and there's two of them. Um, one other thing that I'll say about the weekly assignments is that sometimes uh, the questions sort of come up throughout the assignment, and I encourage you to uh, work through the questions in the order that they come up. Another element of the weekly work is the one weekly text discussion board post and two weekly replies. So each week there's going to be one text discussion board post that's due by Thursday, and two replies to your classmates' posts that are due by Sunday at midnight. Uh, because of the way that Canvas works, I can only make one due date per assignment, so I'm going to make that due date on Thursday, but it's up to you to remember to respond to your classmates' posts uh, twice. Okay, so your initial post is worth five points, and each reply to your classmates is worth 2.5 points. So each of these discussion boards, this discussion board is uh, worth 10 points total. Now the other weekly assignment is going to be a weekly video or audio discussion board post and one weekly video or audio reply to your classmates. So this is something new that I'm trying out, and we're going to hope that it works. Um, and if it fails terribly, um, such is life, we'll figure it out as we go along. But as I say, my intention here is to try to encourage us to see each other as people and try to break down some of the disconnection that follows from online learning when we're learning at our own pace and our own time. Uh, what I really want us to do is to be able to see each other as people and to try to get uh, the opportunity to interact with each other as people. Now, that being said, you can use any media that you would like for your assignment. So Canvas is going to give you the option of either a uh, webcam video or an audio recording. Um, you can use either of these. There is no, as long as you answer the question, 
Uh, there is, it does not matter to me whether you use video or audio. Um, in addition, you can use any other sort of uh, multimedia thing that you would like um, as long as it is clear uh, that you are answering the question. So if for some reason you don't want to uh, record your voice, that's fine. Uh, you just need to find some other way, like uh, maybe a, a voice hiding software or something like this, um, or whatever else it is you want to come up with. So it doesn't necessarily matter to me how it is you present yourself to the class, uh, but I'm just encouraging you to do that. Um, I will also uh, record a video every week, um, actually probably a couple as we go through. Um, and again, my hope is that we'll be able to have the opportunity to see each other um, as people um, and to break down some of the barriers of online learning. Um, so again, uh, each of these uh, discussions are going to be focused on a very short, straightforward question so that it's not overwhelming. Um, and each of the initial post is worth five points and each of the replies is also worth five points. And as with the other um, discussion board posts, the first your post is due uh, on Thursday and then the reply is due on Sunday by midnight. Okay, my grading policy for this weekly coursework. So I grade your weekly coursework uh, using what I call an 8, 9, 10 scale. And what the 8, 9, 10 scale means is that um, as long as you give a reasonable attempt at the assignment, you will receive a minimum grade of 80% of the available points. So I grade this way because I don't want you to be afraid that your grade's going to suffer just because you don't really know how to answer a question or you're not really sure what to say or maybe you're afraid that what you're going to say is not going to be popular. Uh, none of those things matter. And in philosophy, it's very important to try new things out uh, and to give answers that you're not sure about uh, and to try to push on the boundaries and so on and so forth. So I don't want you to be afraid that if you're trying any of those things, it's going to hurt your grade. So uh, the minimum you will get is 80% of the points. The next grade up from that is 90% of the points. And then from there is 100% of the points. Um, and I'm pretty liberal with this, so um, you, I would not worry about it so much. And my feedback for each assignment will include a description of what it is you're doing well in the assignment, as well as a point or two that you can improve on for next time. Um, so this course is designed in such a way that if you complete all of the weekly assignments, the rest of the assignments, so the two papers in the exam, will not be difficult. So again, the weekly assignments are at the core of this class and uh, it's very important to do them. Um, but if you do them, you're going to be in really good shape going into the rest of the assignments. Okay, my late policy for the weekly coursework. So I set due dates for each of these assignments. I've gestured at a couple of those uh, before, but basically the first assignment of a week will be due on Tuesday, and the second assignment is due on Thursday. And then in addition, as I mentioned, the discussion board post and the video discussion board post are also due on Thursday, and then your replies are due on Sunday. But my intention with these deadlines is to try to encourage you to spread out the work throughout the week, but I want to be clear, I actually don't enforce the late penalties. So if it's easier for you because of your schedule to do the work on Wednesdays and Fridays, as long as you do the work, uh, that's fine. Um, and as long as everything is posted by Sunday night at midnight because how each week's assignments work is that at Sunday at midnight, the assignments are no longer available. So you have to have everything submitted by Sunday at midnight. Now, I do want to be clear, I do not encourage you to do everything uh, on Sunday night unless you're in a situation where you have to do that. Of course, that might come up. I suppose in that situation, do what you got to do. But I encourage you uh, to spread out the work throughout the week 
it will make the quality of your work better. You know, I think it'll make everything um, a lot easier and more pleasant. Um, and uh, just to be clear, at Sunday at midnight, the assignments are no longer available. Now, if something comes up and you need a little bit of extra time to complete a week's assignment, just send me a Canvas message. Uh, you can do this for any reason. It doesn't matter to me. You don't even have to give me your reason. You just can say, Dr. Nash, I need a, a couple more days. Let me know how long, and I will adjust the assignment so that it stays open uh, just for you. But the way that this works is that you have to let me know before Sunday at midnight, and I'm happy to give you as much time as you need. But if you contact me after the assignment is due, it's very unlikely that I'm going to give you an extension. So just to summarize my late policy again, uh, there is no late policy, but the assignments close each week on Sunday at midnight. Okay. Now I'm going to quickly go through the rest of the assignments in the class. Uh, the first paper. So this is going to be about a, I said two here, but I meant three, probably a three to five page philosophy paper that focuses on clearly presenting an argument that we've covered in class presenting an objection to this argument, a response to this objection, and a reply to this response. Uh, now, if none of that makes any sense, don't worry. There'll be plenty of videos explaining exactly what you need to do. Um, and in addition, paper prompts will be provided. But if you are interested in working on a paper that is not um, included in one of the prompts, please reach out to me. Um, I'm happy to let you write about anything that you want as long as you get my approval. However, if you don't get my approval, um, it is either the prompts or nothing. Okay, uh, there's also two exams in this class. There's a midterm and a final exam. Uh, the midterm is one hour long, and it's going to consist of eight uh, short essay questions, of which you need to answer four, so about 15 minutes per question. Um, and then, oh, I said midterm there again, uh, but of course I meant the final exam. Uh, the final exam will be familiar, excuse me, it will be similar to the midterm, uh, but there's going to be more questions. They'll also have a choice, um, and you'll have two hours to complete it. So uh, the reason that I have both exams and papers is because some students are better at exams, some students are better at papers, and I want to give everybody the opportunity uh, to do the best that they can. Okay, now um, something else that I'm trying out for this quarter uh, is a final paper or project. So this is uh, one or the other. So for this assignment, you can either write a second paper that uses basically the same format as the first paper. Um, and, and again, I will provide prompts uh, when we get to this point in the quarter. Um, however, if you don't want to write a final paper and you would rather write work on a final project, um, as long as you do something that still involves presenting an argument from class, an objection to this argument, and a response to your objection, uh, I will let you figure out the way that you do this uh, can be up to you. So if you want to put together a short video where you're interacting with this argument from class, uh, you can do that. Um, if you uh, like to sing, you're a singer-songwriter, you can put it into a song if you want. Uh, you can perform some sort of uh, recorded social experiment. Uh, you can do it in some other sort of art form. Um, it's up to you. So I don't really know uh, what this assignment is going to generate. Um, however, if you're going to do this as a final project instead of a final paper, I need you to clear your project idea with me by the beginning of week nine so that I can make sure that everything is, uh, you know, okay, going to make sense. Um, and then in addition, if you do the final project, you also need to include a one-page summary explaining how your project presents uh, an argument from class, an objection to this argument, and a reply to this objection. Um, I will create a handout to sort of help with this process when we get there. Uh, but for right now, just so you know, this is another part of the assignment. Um, and to be clear, if I receive a project as opposed to a final paper from someone who has not cleared the final project with me, um, they'll receive a zero for the assignment. Right, so I want the final projects to be something that you care about and that you think about and put work into, uh, not some way to get out of a jam at the end of the quarter. Um, and to be clear, if you... 
Um, just do the final paper. You don't have to clear anything with me. You can just submit the final paper uh, at the end of the quarter. Okay, so the last part of this presentation, extra credit. Now, each week I'm going to post an additional assignment uh, in, an, in an extra module that is extra credit. These assignments are intended to take about as much time as a single weekly assignment. Um, and I also intend for them to be fairly difficult. So they're going to be pretty hard. Um, and I'm also going to grade them really hard. So um, I'm not doing this because I want to scare you away from attempting the extra credit. Uh, but instead, I want to encourage you to take it seriously and to work carefully on the extra credit. So um, this is not the kind of class where the extra credit is just like busy work. Um, and it doesn't matter and you can just do it and you can sort of pad your grade a little bit. No, uh, this is going to be pretty hard and I'm going to grade it really hard. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm offering up to 10% of your grade, uh, which is a full grade in extra credit. So um, I'm going to be, uh, it's going to be pretty difficult. Um, but each extra credit assignment is worth 15 points, which is the same as a weekly assignment. And if you somehow have time to do all 10, uh, then you get about 10% extra on your grade if you got 100%. Um, so again, my intention with this is for those students who uh, just can't get enough and they want a little bit more uh, to think about the assignments each week, that's what the extra credit's going to be for. Um, it's not going to be busy work. It's probably going to be pretty difficult. Um, but anyway, if that's something that you're interested in, then it's there for you. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, please post them in the question discussion board. Um, or if you would like, you're always welcome to reach out to me through Canvas message. So thank you. I'm really looking forward to the quarter and I hope that we have a good time.